with our starting lineup very much so you heard the usj lineup and uh, we have one number change out there that i'm going to have to pick up on because the roster that i've got and i am looking for another one to give to blake uh blake i got a feeling this is what ryan yates sent us you can see an official letter it does not have a number one on it so he will be the unknown soldier tonight. This roster I have right here, it says Preston Miller, but he's a freshman playing JV. So okay. We worked with our best. I asked for a roster, and they didn't have an extra copy. So That's okay. Let's see. We're waiting for tip. Tommy Ciparillo will throw the ball up. Tips controlled by the Knights. Dalton McIntyre with it. Here's the shot from McIntyre, three up just. Oh, I thought about to get it off the rim. Shame on me. It falls down. The man with the magic touch gets it. Dalton McIntyre and Sacred Heart leads three to nothing. If you're a USJ, you're in dangerous waters if you keep letting Dalton McIntyre shoot threes like that. And here's the turnaround jumper missed. Going after it was true, but McIntyre picks it up quickly to Greer. Greer in the forecourt, our shot from KB on the baseline. And I believe we've up 6 nothing. Kendrick Beard. 7-21, 6 nothing. That's a good way to start, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, great start right there. Shot missed. Knocked around. Here's Javion Greer out to McIntyre. He wants to take it all the way to the hole. He's foul going to the hole. Let's see if they say it was on the shot. It's on the floor, and that was on 1-2, which is Brock Yates. We get it in. Greer looks at from left side to Beard at the top of the circle. He's picked up there. Playing. Beard kicks it off, and that's Jake Kale out there wearing number 14 to Greer. Now Truel will step out against man defense. There he is, and he got bumped, no call, but that's all right. We'll take it, two threes for Dalton McIntyre, and we lead nine to nothing. And if you're Sacred Heart right now, you just want to keep exposing this USJ defense by feeding it to McIntyre, let him shoot. Greer picks up. He and number one have a nice running battle there. And a little traveling music. As they say, Mitchell traveled then. And for USJ right now, the best way to stop the Sacred Heart offense, I'd, I'd start running a little press trying to get Sacred Heart off their feet. And that time a foul by Landon Hooper of USJ. And uh, Landon, is you don't want to let him get hot. He's a pretty good three-point shooter. They show zone this time, they being USJ. Out front to Greer. Greer looked at it. Truel feeds inside. His pass knocked away, stolen away by Mitchell. USJ on the run out. There's an almost stale, good hustling effort by Kendrick Beard. Yeah, great, great uh, hustle right there by Kendrick Beard. And that was pretty good. Uh, that was pretty good back uh, behind the back pass by Kendrick Beard too. That had some heat on it. If you didn't see that, absolutely. <laughs> Good battle steal by Greer. He's going to take it all the way. And let's see. USJ wants a timeout. They trail 11 to nothing. Let's take a timeout here on the Sacred Heart Basketball Network on Worthy Road Studios. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all.
And boy, quick 11 nothing lead, quick thought, Blake. Uh, if you're USJ right now, you want to step up in their grill. You do not want Sacred Heart to get hot right now. Uh, try and play a little bit of half court press. Sacred Heart uh, historically does not do well with that. And if you're USJ, or excuse me, if you're Sacred Heart right now, just keep doing what you do. And number one, who we don't have an official name on the rosters I got sent, either had no two or uh, had one cut off on it. He's dribbling the basketball. We'll find out from the scorebook. Shot from the corner, in and out. That shot was missed by Brock Yates, and we've got the rebound, and there'll be a tripping foul. It's an accidental one, but they'll call it. Let's see. They got a block on one. Let's check, see if there's a zone, but the shot up and no good. Rebound USJ. Quickly to Hooper, Hooper's three up. No good, Mitchell with the rebound. He wanted to go back to the hole. He'll kick it to Hooper, who drives on the bucket, loses it, and it probably is going to be a charge on Landon Hooper. You know, we took some charges the other night too, didn't we, Blake? Yeah, Jake Hale was the leading factor uh, in charges right there. Or excuse me, I meant to say last or last game versus FACS, and right there, just doing the same, same old, same old. Day Day Hunter, and that's what they told me to call him over there uh, when I went by the bench. Is in wearing number ten. We break the press to Greer, but he didn't get a good clean look at, it, so he brings it out. McIntyre wants to drive, kicks it out to Kale. Kale started to drive. Now they say we traveled with the basketball. And Hunter looks a lot well this time. They let Mitchell inbound it. Kendrick Beard picks him up. Greer picks up number one. And driving, they run a little dribble weave outside. Kick out, Greer knocks it away. He's gonna try to go coast to coast. He does and lays it up. That is Javion Greer's fourth point, and we've got a 13-0 lead, Blake. And the defensive backbone of this team, Javion Greer reaching in for that uh, that pass right there and just cutting it off, going to the rack. Okay, Hunter with the basketball guarded by Beard. That's a good matchup. Cutting to the basket, spin move. USJ's got their first points. That's Davis Salee. I actually coached at Northside some of his relatives. His grandfather is Alan Salee, who played at Villanova and at Western Kentucky. Here's Kendrick Beard, though. His shot just rimmed out. Hunter with the rebound. Now USJ running, but here's the steal. Truel laying back there and goes to the hole. Avoided the charge. Trey Truel. What a play acrobat. right there by Trey Truel. He cut off the pass, tight rope down the sideline, and just rose up for that layup right there. That was, that was a play. <laughs> yes. Here's Mitchell driving. He's a strong young man out to Hunter. Hunter tries to take the long step. Good defense by Beard. Here's the spin and the basket by Brock Yates. Okay, Greer, we lead 16, or 15 actually, 15 to four. Beard's got it left wing. Penetration, McIntyre, the drive to the baseline, the kick out to Greer way out at the front part of the Knights' helmet. If you're familiar with our court, Beard feeds to Truel. And Truel, people want him to shoot, but J.B. and Greer's got the running one-hander for six points. It's a 17-4 lead, Blake. Yeah, great heart right there by J.B. on Greer, but USJ really just to that Sacred Heart offense. There's the running one-hander by one for his first basket. Pass knocked out of bounds. Beard wisely lets it go out and will have an inbound pass. Coming into the contest for USJ is Raleigh Seals. Now, if you're more familiar with Raleigh, he played football and did a very good job this year for USJ. Pass kicked out front to Greer. Greer looking. We need a little movement in our offense. There comes Seals out on Truel. Back to Greer. Back to Truel. He's just outside the arc. Wanted to wheel and deal, but thinks the better of it. Here's Greer taking it to the wing. 
Over to Dalton McIntyre. He wanted the NBA three. Beard started to pump it. Greer does pump it from three off the back of the iron. Fought for. And the rebound stolen by Trey Truel. Flush time. Dunkaroo. Dipsy do Dunkaroo for Trey Truel, and he flushed that one. Yeah, what a great uh, play by Trey Truel right there. As you. And we get called for a block, but a valiant effort by Jake Cale to draw a charge. Going back to that little <laughs> that little play by Trey Truel, I think everybody's jaw hit the floor right there with that one. Yeah, dunks always kind of make things uh, happy and for the home team or whoever got it. First shot up and good. Brock Yates has three now. He'll shoot a second one. Here's the block outs, and that one good also. Shot it, got it. He comes Greer hustling back up the floor. Here's the nice pass to Truel. Interesting under the goal. Dalton McIntyre picks it up. His soft roller rolls in. McIntyre's got eight on the night, and it's a 21-8 lead, Blake. Yeah, that's some great cutting by McIntyre right there. Saw an opening in the post, and, well, just went for it. Hunter in. They call him Day-Day Hunter. This is Yates with the basketball. He goes up. His shot comes off. We mistimed our jump. He goes up, and that time he banked it in. That was wise on his part. We had the rebound. We just jumped a little early. Here's Beards. Three up, three down. Kendrick Beard. That's his second one for six, and we have a 14-point lead with a minute three in the first quarter. And they carry, so we'll get the ball back late with 57.8 seconds. Yeah, that's a... Uh... That's an unfortunate play right there but for USJ, but all the momentum right now is with Sacred Heart, offensively and defensively. Now, USJ has done a great job of adjusting by trapping them a little bit at the half for hash, but all the momentum, Sacred Heart right now. They've gone one, two, two zone. They being USJ, they'll match up. If you watch Raleigh Seals, he's matched up with Kale coming off the baseline. We're gonna hold the ball and try to make them loosen up. And they'll come out and match up just enough and we've got to be careful and not get the five-second call. Dalton McIntyre penetrates, goes to the hole to kick out to J.B. and Greer with 30 seconds left on the clock. Beard comes out to handle the ball. Now they, they being USJ, have matched up to us. One is still going back and forth. He's the point man of a 1-2-2 two, two matchup zone. Jake Kale got handcuffed, but retained the ball, flipped it off to McIntyre to Kale. Kale wants to go up. They'll get him for an offensive foul leaning in. That's two on Jake Kale, two team fouls. 3.3 seconds, long way to go, but I've seen stranger things happen. You can get a shot. We're going to give them some token pressure. And here comes Austin Valks into the ball game. Kale is out with two. Here's the long heave. It's going to be short. And at the end of one quarter play, Sacred Heart 24, USJ 10. We'll take a one-minute timeout on the Sacred Heart Basketball Network. Trenton native Amy McLemore is a certified residential specialist with Town & Country Realtors. Specializing in the Gibson County area, it is her goal to treat each of her clients with respect and custom care. Having received numerous awards in the field of real estate, Amy is qualified to ensure the best outcome for her clients, whether they are buyers or sellers. You can call Amy today at her office at 731-668-7000 or on her cell at 731-234-0049 and let her help you find your dream home. We are back, an exciting first quarter of play. Sacred Heart 24, USJ 10, and things picked up as we went along. Six points for Brock Yates leads USJ for the Sacred Heart Knights. KB has six, Trey Truel has four, and a big dunk. Six for JB and Greer, and eight for Dalton McIntyre. Jake Cale didn't score, but played great defense. Xander Taylor, and we'll talk about that a little more with Blake, has, is having some ankle problems again. It'll be USJ's ball to uh, start out with. They go back into the backcourt, and there Kendrick Beard picks up, and we got both players wearing one. 
One four high. And they give it to Day Day Hunter. He takes the big crow hop step, I call it. European, it bounces out. Here's Dalton McIntyre on the run out. He gets the ball quickly down the floor. And it, let's see who is in there. Xander is in there now. And we... You can say it on air. We'll get our mystery man's name. Who is our mystery man? I believe man? it's uh, Sed uh, Sequavius Hunter. So they've got him wearing number one instead of ten. Believe so, believe uh, so. Okay, and they, they told me to call him Day Day. So Hunter is wearing number one. And he has the basketball. 24-10, 7-19 to go here in the second quarter play. They lob into Raleigh Seals. And we get the handle finally on the basketball. Here's Beard. His three is up off the back of the iron. He goes and gets his own rebound. Nobody blocked him out. He'll go down. Well, he tried to go down the sideline, but went to Trey Truel. Trey in the low post. This looks like Malachi Chavis. And that young man makes something happen every time he comes in. Yeah, Malachi Chavis is drawing the foul right there on, on, I believe, it's Hunter and just shooting it right there. Great, great, great way to hang in the air right there by Chavis. Absolutely. We'll take a 30 second timeout. And we, uh, okay, we're going to stay with it right here. We're staying with it right here. Let's look at both teams. 2610, your thoughts to this point, Blake? Uh, if I'm USJ right now, I'm going to try. I don't know if USJ's got any uh, good three point shooters, but try and extend it a little bit. Second Heart kind of has some trouble uh, defending the three ball, uh, trying to expose that weakness, test something out. You're down, you're down 16, might as well try something new. Um, and for Sacred Heart right now, I'd keep uh, screening and rolling, uh, just drive it, to the, drive it to the hoop right now. That's, uh, that's one good way to attack. We have. Very good man-to-man. -man. We only have uh, Jake Kale with two fouls. That's the only fouls we've gotten because he plays such tremendous defense. USJ has four team fouls. And Chavis, every time that young man comes in the game, he makes something happen. And uh, Xander Taylor playing, but his ankle's still giving him some trouble. And that's one reason he didn't start tonight. It'll, it should be USJ basketball. And somebody's got to go throw it in. And they're saying, should it be, got a sub they're trying to get in. Okay, Yates is out. Let's pick up who the sub is. That's Pledger. Yeah, Ben Pledger. Pledger, the fine place kicker. This guy has got range. Colleges are looking at him. But we've got some guys that play basketball here that some colleges are looking at. Plus, Dalton McIntyre is going to play college baseball. 26 10 to 6. 38 mark. Beard guarding Hunter, and there's an offensive foul. And uh, I'm sure there are some people that won't agree with it, but it is an offensive foul. Landon Turner back in. Again, Landon, a, a sharpshooter. Looks like Dalton McIntyre is going to the bench. Who came in for him, Blake? Uh, for McIntyre? Yeah. Hang on, I'm looking over the floor. I'm looking over. I believe Taylor. I don't know. Um, Xander was on the floor. Either Greer, Greer had to come back in. He was out for a minute. That's yeah, yeah. Did. My Here, fault. I was looking at the roster. Here's True, he, and they'll get him for the hot foot in the lane. Mm. That he, was that was some great defense by Raleigh Seals right there, just uh, imposing his will on him, uh, putting a body on him. Raleigh, a very strong young man, too. And, and mm. folks, we are not mispronouncing. It's really Raleigh. It's not Riley. Raleigh Seals, who's a fine football player. Ben Pleasure with, Pledger with the basketball to Landon Hooper. And now back to Pledger. A lot of movement in the USJ offense. Davis Lee with it. Shot no good. Rebound. Xander Taylor ahead to Greer. Greer goes up. Will it fall? Yes. Oh. And an and one for Javion Greer. What an athletic play by Javion Greer right there. He took that contact and just – and just went up in the air with it. Had it did, did a little fake in the air, then just sunk it in. He uh, really did take <laughs> some contact. And uh, we got new people coming in. Looks like Josh Seavers coming in for uh, USJ. 
and their coach, a, a young fellow who does a good job over there, uh, not hesitant to substitute. Javian Greer does not complete the old-fashioned three-point play. Seals with the rebound. Gets it off to Seavers. Back into the forecourt here with it. Seavers has it. Gives it to Drew Morris. Morris gives it off. There's the jumper. And like I said, we will have to find out who 10 really is now. It's our roster was not correct tonight. Greer with the ball out front at the 524 mark. Here's the shot. Beard's three up, three down. Kendrick Beard has nine in the night, and they're all threes, Blake. Yeah, that that's a that's a great uh that's a great screen and roll right there by Taylor. Um and a great screen right there by uh Trull, I believe. Yes, it looked like a ballet a minute ago. Interesting call. Very, very interesting call. Um, obviously, we did not want that to go our way, but the rest have a better – they have a better view of it. I, I personally would take it into question, but, you know, they have the final say in the end. I'm not going to argue with him, but sometimes you make such a good ball fake or shot fake that you fake everybody out. Mm, and yeah. that can even happen <laughs> to the officials. Drew Morris quickly into the forecourt. Where's a good battle, him and J.B. and Greer. There's a little backdoor play, and that time Malachi – Chavis said, get that stuff out of my neighborhood. <laughs> Have a Wilson sandwich. Yeah, Malachi Chavis is a fun player to watch. He can he can really do everything. Defense, shoot the ball, score the ball. And he's only a freshman, fellas. He's only a freshman, people. Drew Morris driving from the left side. His shot blocked. Gets it back. Ben Pleasure shot up. Ben Pleasure with a three. What a great shot that was. And if you're USJ, you love to see that right now. Obviously, second chance points as we see a three from Kendrick Beard. Yes, it's raining threes at Kendrick Beard's house. He's got four of them for 12 points. Drew Morris, and now we've increased our defense and taken it full court. They call a block. Interesting. He almost and maybe stepped out of bounds. But they say the block caused it. Here comes Austin Box back in. Ray Truel out. Malachi Chavis will take one post man. Austin Vaults has a little more bulk, even though he's a young fellow, to deal with the strong Raleigh, Raleigh Seals. Ball to Seavers. Seavers wants to hit the back door. There had to be a hot foot in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Took Took a walk on the boardwalk, didn't he, Blake? Yeah, Morris did, was not trying to drive in on Austin Vox right there because he, Austin Vox is a very good and tall defender. Uh, so we try to pass it out to Seavers right there. And, well, he shuffled the feet a little bit. That will be a walk. And here's the dribble handoff to Taylor to Malachi Chavis. Chavis wanted to wheel and deal. You could tell then. Mm -hmm. Vox tries to post up. He'll go away. Here's Javian Greer with kind of a walking screen, if you want to call it that. Back to Greer. Greer wants to penetrate. Here's the kick. Here goes Chavis. He's going to the hole, lays it up. <laughs> you knew he was good for that four points on the night. Oh, yeah. Chavis was real excited for that one. You could tell from the tip of that play. Severs pulls up, gives the ball off. Shot rolls around and falls in for Brock Yates. Yates has eight now. Beard, first miss tonight. Pledger. Retrieves the rebound. They penetrate. K, KB knocks it away. We've got a rotating pickup. Yates goes up. Yates, a very fine shooter also. He's got his 10th point, and it makes it 36-19. Sacred Heart still with the lead. Taylor does what he does best. Yeah, that was a great shot by Taylor. Uh, obviously getting his feet set, like what he saw, and he's dealing with the ink. Ankle injury, keep in mind. And Yates drives, gives it off to Seals, and Vaults will foul him, but you know what? Probably saved the basket and make him earn it at the free throw line. Yeah, that's a great dish out by uh, uh, Brock Yates right there uh, down to Seals uh, for that. Uh, obviously, Seals saw an opening, and, he, and Sacred Heart couldn't do anything right there but foul. 
39-19. Here's the first one it missed by Seals. Raleigh Seals, uh, I know he plays basketball, but he is, is a great de a defender and player in football. His shot dances, comes off the rim. Rebound Malachi Chavis to Greer. Greer wants to penetrate, gets by, left-handed layup, good. And the little man motors to his 10th point of the night. Yeah, that was a great Euro step by J.P. Greer right there. Avoided the contact, didn't he, Blake? Here's mm -hmm. Yates, a good shooter. This time it hits the back of the iron, and the uh, – the road runner, Javion Greer, motors out of there with it. Probably get him for a charge because you can charge away from the ball, too. That'll be Greer's first foul. Let's check the team fouls. That should be our fourth team foul. 17 fouls on USJ. And Mitchell comes back and Salee comes back for USJ. Now, if I'm Sacred Heart right now, I'm sending extra people uh, to Yates right now. Actually, is he – He's still in the game. Let's I can't. check oh, him yes, out. He Ledger's is. throwing it in. Well, what they're going to do is go with a 1-4 press break, and they'll try to run somebody long and then come back short. Our press was really more token. Now, we're not rotating properly, and we left a man open. That's going to cost us. Good block saved us, though. Balks out of there, but his pass intercepted. And there comes, oh, the pain of it. Oh, I don't know about that, but I, I don't have the final say in that. In Shakespearean words, et tu, Brute. <laughs> Blocking foul, Greer's second one. Now we have to keep Javion Greer out of foul trouble. Truel will check back in, which means that let's see who's on the floor for us. Coming in is A.J. Mormon. Let's see if he plays point guard. He plays very good defense. He and Drew Morris will be a good battle to Pledger. Pledger ball fake. He's got Truel on him. Here's Salee. Salee on the dribble handoff to Pledger. They get it to Yates, and they want him to shoot. Go back in the corner. Pledger's three up, bounces off the iron, fought four, and it looks like it'll be off Justin Vaux because they threw it off of him, and that's okay. They didn't score. We'll play defense at 41-19 and 134 to go. I'm going to correct you right there real quick, Coach. That's uh, Austin Vaux. I'm Austin. sorry. Justin is his dad. And now, uh, who hit the last bucket? Because I got blocked out. I believe that was Morse. I could be wrong. Well, we'll give it to him, and there is a foul. Should be one and one, because that's the eighth team foul. Xander Taylor at the line. His first shot is up and good. And that's one of the goals that Coach Borgard wants to improve. He's not happy with our free throw percentage right now. Mm -mm, not looking too hot right now. But well, I'm talking about for the whole season. And that second one today, we're not doing too bad because we're, what, two for three. But mm -hmm. for the season, he'd like to see it improve. Uh, we got too many people in the 65, 64% free throw shooting column. This is to Salee. Salee will go to the hole. Jump stop, fakes, goes up, his shot rims around and comes out and rebound. Looks like it belongs to us and Taylor. Taylor going. They were trying to draw the charge from McIntyre. Three up, three down. A.J. Mormon. Oh, what a shot right there by the freshman. Absolutely. He's going to be a great one before he graduates. Like I said, he and Drew Morris, a good battle. Yates, three, a little short, but Mitchell skies for the rebound. Pledger. Goes up 14-footer off the back of the iron. Rebound's going to be fought for. They reach in on Greer. He crosses over. Oh, that's Mormon, actually. He and Greer handle the ball so much alike if I don't <laughs> see the, the five. But what a good job then. He's calling play one with 24 seconds, or either they're going for one shot. Gets it knocked away from him. He lets it go, and it belongs to Sacred Heart. Here's A.J. Mormon with 17 seconds left. A little bump and grind there. We're running a very tight set. Taylor comes off it. We're going to Truel, but Truel forced off the blocks. Gets the baseline, goes up, leaves his shot short, gets his rebound, sticks it in. He has six point two one. a long shot at the buzzer. Short, no good. Sacred Heart, 48. USJ, 21. Let's take a time out here on the Worthy Road Studios Network. 
Worthy Road Studios. Worthy Road Studios is a full-service television and live streaming service that can provide live broadcast coverage outside of normal studios. We own all the equipment needed to produce live events. We are a road studio, meaning all equipment is portable. We can work out of small, unusual spaces not designed for broadcasting while still delivering a TV-quality product. We use wireless communication systems and have invested in high-definition wireless video transmission. Worthy Road Studios has been producing local television for over 10 years. We work with different media organizations producing live high school sports, as well as Union University basketball and volleyball. We use multiple cameras, on-screen graphics, live scoreboards, and live picture-in-picture. -picture. We can do slow motion instant replay with a telestrator. We can have referees mic'd and use sideline reporters with wireless microphones and cameras. New for 2020 is our new video production trailer. This small trailer is designed for getting into tight spaces and is like a portable press box. It has a powerful wireless internet system for broadcasting and also has a battery backup system that can handle an entire broadcast. It can accommodate two announcers and two technical people with all audio and video equipment. Above the trailer is an observation deck with safety handrails for as many as three production cameras. This trailer is perfect for all outdoor events like football games, baseball, softball, soccer, tennis, graduations, and political events. Contact Worthy Road Studios by Facebook, YouTube, or call us at 731-499-1730. We would like to help you with your live event by streaming it to your Facebook page or to YouTube, all live. For the National Guard, we have a state and federal mission, so we support our state for like disasters, and then we can also have a federal mission overseas. We serve both the state and federal government. But the National Guard gives individuals like yourself and myself the opportunity to stay at home, whereas if you have a goal to go to school, the National Guard got you. You don't have to really worry about changing your whole life to serve your country, where the National Guard actually works around your life. I like to think the National Guard has this elite group of soldiers and members because you'll have police officers, you have firefighters, lawyers, doctors, just a slew of different people that make up this force as far as being a part of the community. They're embedded in their community and they're super involved. So this is like adding these subject matter elite experts with, you know, being a soldier. I mean, you got the total person concept. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. Native Amy McLemore is a certified residential specialist with Town & Country Realtors. Specializing in the Gibson County area, it is her goal to treat each of her clients with respect and custom care. Having received numerous awards in the field of real estate, Amy is qualified to ensure the best outcome for her clients, whether they are buyers or sellers. You can call Amy today at her office at 731-668-7000 or on her cell at 731-234-0049 and let her help you find your dream home. We are proud to be locally owned. We are rooted in this community in Gibson County. We are active not only in Medina, but also the surrounding communities on a day-to-day -day basis. These are our friends, our family, and our neighbors. And we are truly humbled by those that call upon us to serve. Trust, guidance, and commitment. That's why families turn to us. 
Ruth Logo Lawrence Funeral Home, a tradition of caring since 1925. Worthy Road Studios. Worthy Road Studios is a full-service television and live streaming service that can provide live broadcast coverage outside of normal studios. We own all the equipment needed to produce live events. We are a road studio, meaning all equipment is portable. We can work out of small, unusual spaces not designed for broadcasting while still delivering a TV-quality product. We use wireless communication systems and have invested in high-definition wireless video transmission. Worthy Road Studios has been producing local television for over 10 years. We work with different media organizations producing live high school sports, as well as Union University basketball and volleyball. We use multiple cameras, on-screen graphics, live scoreboards, and live picture-in-picture. -picture. We can do slow motion instant replay with a telestrator. We can have referees mic'd and use sideline reporters with wireless microphones and cameras. New for 2020 is our new video production trailer. This small trailer is designed for getting into tight spaces and is like a portable press box. It has a powerful wireless internet system for broadcasting and also has a battery backup system that can handle an entire broadcast. It can accommodate two announcers and two technical people with all audio and video equipment. Above the trailer is an observation deck with safety handrails for as many as three production cameras. This trailer is perfect for all outdoor events like football games, baseball, softball, soccer, tennis, graduations, and political events. Contact Worthy Road Studios by Facebook, YouTube, or call us at 731-499-1730. We would like to help you with your live event by streaming it to your Facebook page or to YouTube, all live. Welcome back to halftime of the boys game here at David B. Hunt Court on the beautiful campus of Sacred Heart of Jesus High School. Blake Biggs, Coach Joe Holloway. An exciting first half, Blake. Lots mm -hmm. of points put on the board. And actually, uh, a lot of defense doesn't look like it, but uh, there was defense played in that mm -hmm. first half. This is an exciting episode of uh, what I like to call the mcclellan Row rivalry. As we know, these, these two schools are separated by two minutes. Uh, one's down the road from another, very intense rivalry, and Sacred Heart's pulling away right now. I love their defense. Uh, I love their hustle. I love their shooting. Um, Mal Chavis with already two blocks, and he hasn't played many minutes. He'll be an exciting freshman to watch. Uh, Trey Truel has come down with a lot of rebounds. Javion Greer, how about him? He's played a, he's played a, he's played a heck of a game. Um, ho had a whole lot of layups. I don't have the official stats in front of me, but Co Coach Holloway does. Um, Xander Taylor has uh, shot pretty lights out tonight. Uh, Jake Kale has been uh, forced defensively. Dalton McIntyre, of course, opens it up with a bunch of threes out of the gate in the in the first quarter. And yeah, pretty solid ball game right now. But for but for USJ, uh, Brock Yates has played a uh, very well polished offensive game. He's he's had defenders right in the face and he just shoots right over them. Um, if I were USJ, I'd keep feeding it to them right now. Try and get it out to Salee, kick it out to Pledger. Uh, just try and get a few threes on the board if I'm USJ right now. Eight threes for Sacred Heart, one for USJ. That was Brock Yates. You're scoring unofficially uh, because we got uh, we unfortunately inherited a roster that uh, wasn't correct tonight <laughs> in several areas. I found a couple of more deficiencies while I was at the table over there, but we're going to try to straighten it out. Got Morris with two, Salee with two, Brock Yates has ten, Pledger has three. Hunter has two, and Brisbane has two. That was our unknown soldier was Ron Brisbane. And for the Knights of Sacred Heart, Trey Truel with six. Xander Taylor comes off the bench with five. Kendrick Beard has 12 points, and that is on four threes. Javion Greer has four, uh, actually five field goals for 10 points. Dalton McIntyre has eight two threes and a two-point field goal. Malachi Chavis, four big points, several blocks and some rebounds. And the little man himself, A.J. Mormon, three points. One big three-pointer. Justin Vaux played some defense playing against an upperclassman, gave away some height, did a very good job. He and Jake Kale both playing defense. Jake has two fouls, though. Yeah, obviously for us. 
for USJ, they're going to want to send uh, all their shooters to the line right now, draw a few fouls, uh, try and get uh, Pledger or Yates to uh, draw in, possibly Hooper. Like I said earlier, you want to get a few threes going too, so I'd open up Hooper a little bit. For Sacred Heart right now, I just keep pl clamping down, playing great defense as they're doing right now. Grid and grind. It looks like both teams have gone back to their starting lineups. And Greer will handle the basketball for us. Of course, they're tr we're traveling from right to left this time on your screen. Here's the step up, and it was blocked and picked up by Yates, and he wants to shoot, but he kicks it off. So Lee drives the left baseline, stops, pops, comes off there, and Bresman stepped on the baseline. But we didn't get a body on him, didn't get him blocked out that time. Mm -mm. Uh, but great great block right there by uh, uh, Dalton McIntyre. He, he positioned himself late on that um, and obviously brought, blocked Brisbane. USJ goes to a 2-2-1 two -two press. People are familiar with that. The great days you go side, middle side, or get it to J.V. Greer. He kicks it out, but his pass was knocked away. And USJ's defense playing with inspiration this half. Here's the pass, the pass from underneath to Mitchell and he opens the scoring for USJ. That's James Mitchell with his first points. And the press has thrown us off a little bit. Looks like Brock Yates uh, will pick up his second foul, first team foul in the second half. 48-23, Blake Biggs, Coach Joe Holloway with you. Of course, we've got, we'll tell you about our great camera people here on Worthy Road Studio. Dalton McIntyre wanted that three. He's going to go to the hole, lays it. Doesn't he have a great touch? Oh, he has a great touch. Uh, I think he should have got an extra free throw on that one. But, hey, good bucket by McIntyre right there, number 22. That's right, and he's got 10 points on the night. Good defensive battle going on there. Here's Yates free at the free throw line, but misses, gets his own rebound. And this will be an interesting call especially since the ball and the hand are like that. Uh, interesting call. That's all yeah, we'll very, say. Yeah, very interesting call right there. J.K. is usually a maestro at pulling those, uh, those, those credit cards out, as you like to say, draw a few charges, but didn't get it right there. Yep. Severe back in the ball game. Or Seavers, actually. Seavers in. The way it's spelled. Here goes. Uh, KB got away with a bump. Now, if they see, that should be on the floor. But they may give it to him. Oh. They gave it to him, and that was uh, Brisbane. I don't know. That was Brisbane. That's KB's first foul. So we're in good shape. Two team fouls. Missed the free throw. Rebound, though. USJ is whipping us on the boards in this half. Jake did the wise thing. He just tied it up. Yeah, that, that, that was the wise thing to do in that situation. Uh, obviously don't want to send uh, USJ back to the line with that one with a chance of two more to come, but a uh, great effort there by Jake Kell. Josh Severs inbounds it to Brock Yates, who is USJ's high point man. This is Brisbane. Greer caused him, but he, he picked it up, caused him to mess up. And his shot, and everything's falling for them this half. That's four in the quarter, six in the game. Here's McIntyre. Uh, now block. The proper call, he only got a part of it. And you know what, Dalton did everything he could to avoid the charge. Outstanding play. We've seen a lot of acrobatics tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've seen, a, we've seen a jump man in the court tonight. A uh, whole lot of people in the air right now. Dalton McIntyre there for two free throws. And he misses that first one. Now, for Dalton, we don't expect that. Dalton's averaging around 15 points a game. You know, Kenny Beard or K. Beard, Kenny's his dad's name, Kendrick's he is. Uh, now, we, he'll get another one if he misses, if he, he didn't miss. So, he'll hit one out of two. You saw the young man step in early for USJ. We go back with some full court man pressure, and it'll be a one-on-one -on -one battle between Greer and, and Brisbane. Getting free is Severs. Severs missed. Dalton McIntyre, Sky King is... His pass got hit. Trey Truel wants to go to the line. Now, he lost it. USJ's got it. And they go to Brock Yates with it. Somebody must have some slick them on the ball out there, as they used to say. Here's the shot missing, but Mitchell had good rebound position. And he rolls his hook shot over. And Mitchell has come to play with four here in the second half. And that cuts into the lead 
And I think that Coach Beauregard wants to talk it over, Blake. Yeah, uh, obviously not. <clears throat> he's not liking the inside looks that uh, uh, he – this team has been given uh, to USJ. A lot, a lot of driving going around, going on right now for USJ. But for Sacred Heart, I think they're going to make the adjustments. Send Trull down low to the post. Now, you don't want him to foul out because that's been a problem for us these past few games. Um, but send some bodies down there, and, this, and that should be good. Hooper and Yates with two fouls apiece for USJ. Also, Hunter, we have J.B. Greer with two, Jake Kale with two. Taylor one, Beard one, and Dalton McIntyre one. Also Austin Valk. Now they've changed their press. It's a one, two, one, one, and they've got Greer Trap, but he gets it out of there. Trying to cross the timeline, he does. Good move by the left-hander Dalton McIntyre. Jake Kale going up. He got he got Salee into the paratroopers club. And then jumped up and Salee fouled him. That is Davis Salee's first foul, as I have it, and I, hopefully my stats are right. Three team fouls, and at the line for two, Jake Kale. Yeah, that was a great pump fake right there to draw the foul right there on the shot. Jake lifted a little short then, and got a full extension. Balance, eye, elbow, and follow through. Remember the acronym BEEF. <laughs> BEEF, cooking the jar. Yep. <clears throat> Wave goodbye, as the late Hal Greer used to say to it. That one's going to roll in, shooter's touch. Now we put pressure all over. We've left a man open. Now here's the big man, Mitchell. He's, he's done a good job in this second half, playing hard under there. And he and Jake Kale will play bumper cars. Kale comes to help. And, uh, yes, the proper call by Tommy Ciparillo. Was that a push off right there? Yeah, you, it was a combination. You call it like it's a charge, but it's an offensive foul. Now they take the ball, steal it from Greer. They got him trapped. They missed the inside shot. That's Brisbane, but we foul him. Now we don't want to get into a foul contest. That could be, and it looks like from the, what I saw of the hand signal, Jake Kale's third foul. First free throw off the front of the iron. Ron Brisbane wearing... Well, that is actually Day Day Hunter right there with that. And I will get it straight. That's the change in it. Brisbane's wearing 10. Day Day Hunter is wearing one. Yeah, we had a little roster mix up. Uh, two different rosters given to us at the start. We apologize to our viewers in advance. Here's Greer driving. Doesn't he have great body control? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That's that's one of uh, Greer's great offensive at attributes about him. He can he can jump up in the air, and it's not a wild card situation. He knows where he's going, and it's straight through the bucket. Two for Jay Greer. Jay Hunter with the basketball. There, and he's going to push, get caught pushing off again if, if Beard holds his position, which he tried to do. Spin walk, I would have called a walk, but I'm not officiating. Here's Greer, 54-29, NBA three, McIntyre almost down, tipped around. Malachi Chavis has it. He converts it. Chavis with his six point. That young man makes something happen every time he comes in again. Oh, yeah, no doubt about it. Malachi Chavis is a bright spot of this Sacred Heart team. Well, Landon Hooper headed towards the goal, leaves it a little short, tries to tip it, and in batting it, they're probably going to say that he fouled, and that will be his third foul. You know, the funny thing is Landon Hooper is a great shooter, and he has no points so far this night. Yeah, UJ's done a great job of uh, cont containing uh, their, their shooters on this team. Uh, not a whole lot of three points going on right now. Yeah, wholesale substitution, a man that hasn't been in the game, Brady Smith, and they back, well, two of them are going to press, and now they, they back up. Let's see if they match up man-to-man. -man. Looks like they are trying to match up man-to-man. -man. That pass had a little mustard on it. Back outside to Kenny, Kendrick Beard. His shot missed. Coach Borgard with some nice words, encouraging words for the official. A lot of French pastry there. Ball was hit, so it's not backcourt for all of y'all thinking. It. There's our man first, Malachi. Chavis knocks it away. Xander Taylor, ever alert, picking it up. And it should be a foul on Raleigh Seals. Yeah, Raleigh Seals just tried to reach down and get the bar right there. But Dalton McIntyre was – or, excuse me, Javion Greer was actually down there to get it first. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of, a lot of hustling by our kids. 16 fouls on USJ. B. Seals' first foul. 
USA has gone to man to man. Here's the twisting, spiraling, rotating layup by Kendrick Beard. Kendrick Beard's a tornado, isn't he? On that play right there, just sp spun around the USJ defense and just softly laid it in for two. That's a good turn. Maybe we ought to start calling him the Tennessee Tornado. <laughs> That's 14 for Kendrick Beard. Here's some good defense. We didn't switch. We had got help out of McIntyre, but that throws off our rebounding. And guess who blocked the shot? Malachi Chavis. It's off us, but still a very good defensive effort. Yeah, Malachi Chavis has had a great effort throughout the game. Uh, I believe that's three blocks for him right now, At least. unofficially. Unofficially, and I think Blake is right on. Hook shot by Yates, leaves it short. With all that tall timber in there, Malachi pulls it down, gets it to Beard. Beard wanted to wheel and deal then. Goes across to McIntyre. McIntyre, they say he pulled his pivot foot. I know what happened. Is it's not going to get called a foul, but he kind of took an elbow in the ear accidentally, and that, that stings. That's how you get cauliflower ear in wrestling and football and things like that, but maybe you don't get them in basketball. This time Greer gets beat by step, gets some help. Shot comes off. Here's the flip out, and that was smart to go all the way to Yates. Outside, ball lost. Who gets it? Raleigh Seals fighting for it. There's going to be a foul in there somewhere. There's a hold. And it's probably going to get called on Xander Taylor. Yeah, but great physical effort right there. Three dudes on the ball right there just diving for it. They, Sager Hart just wants this game right now. Trying to muscle it in. You saw the bump and stuff, but picking up the loose ball is Kendrick Beard. He wants to go to the hole. It crawls over the rim and in for his 16th point of the night. It's 60 to 29 at the 222 mark. KB can score the ball, can he? <laughs> he can do all kinds of things. I want to see the tornado again. Here's the steal. Here's the senior. It's two on one. Let's see what he leaves it off for the little man. And Greer oh. finishes it. Assist, Beard, Bucket, Greer, and it's a timeout. That was a cold assist by uh, Kendrick Beard right there. And great court awareness. He he obviously made a no-look pass to Javion Greer, and Javion Greer laid it up for two on the runaway. You draw the defender to you, which – Kendrick Beard did, and scoop pass over to your teammate. Very unselfish play because Kendrick probably could have finished that one, but a lot safer to let Greer do the work there. Uh, USJ timeout, 62-29, 2.07 in the third quarter. 16 fouls on USJ, four on Sacred Heart. And we have Beard, Chavis, Taylor, McIntyre, and Greer out on the floor. For them, they have... Smith, Yates, Mitchell, Seals. They've gone with the big lineup. They got two big post players in there. And now uh, Ron Brisbane wearing 10. Here's Mitchell wanting to go to the hole. Or is that Mitchell? We'll have to check that. That is Mitchell. That is Mitchell. Kicks out. Brisbane shot up. He hits that one. Nice shot. I believe that is his fourth point of the night. There's the dribble hand. They jump, switch it in. That's how you steal and stop that. Sometimes you get a charge out of it. Sometimes you can get the steal. Here's Beard wanting to go. He got shoved in. Nice call. The official was in perfect position. TWSWA would be very proud of that young man's mechanics right there. Mm -hmm. Drew Morris coming in. 17 fouls. I believe we're going to shoot. The one, and if you hit, you get the bonus. And Kendrick Beard has not been to the free throw line tonight. We haven't shot a lot of free throws, though. We've mm -hmm. hit a lot of threes. Kind of silence in the crowd. Somebody will make some noise in a minute. First shot up, rolls around. That one, nothing but string music for Kendrick Beard. He'll get the second one. The Tennessee Tornado at the line. We better check with him, see if he likes that thing. <laughs> Second shot up, shot it, got it. Kendrick Beard, he now has 18 points on the night. We stay with the full court press. It's a man press. There was a, there you got to watch those push off. This is Brisbane, and they'll probably get KB that time. Yes, they will. That'll be our fifth team foul. It'll be Kendrick Beard's second foul. Minute 30, we need to. Get the ball back down the floor, run some offense, and not pick up any more fouls. I do love that hands-on defense by Ke uh, Kendrick Beard, Tor Tennessee Tornado. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it, it may stick. First shot up and no good. Good. 
Brisbane at the line. Ron Brisbane wearing number 10. Second one up, shot it, got it. And I believe he has five in the contest. Substitutions coming in. This is a young man I don't believe we've seen. Will Horton, a 10th grader, coming in for USJ. Let's see if they go back to their 2-2-1 press. Now they're going to match up and play a little man. Here's in the corner. Xander Taylor wants that three. He got that three. Man, hey. Zan Xander Taylor has uh, nailed that corner three these past few days. Um, he's worked on it, too, and on uh, getting that uh, contact. Absolutely. 67-32 with a minute 11. We did run our offense. And okay. And I, I know what's happening. The officials are kind of taking charge of the game. That's 16 foul. Malachi Chavis' first one. Uh, the game was starting to mm. edge towards chippiness a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. And good job by the officials. Here's Horton's pass over to Drew Morris. Morris wants to go, stops from about eight feet, rolls off the back of the iron. Dalton McIntyre up and high for the basketball. He wants to go all the way. The left-hander shot goes and falls in. He split two defenders. Yeah, and I hear the Sacred Heart bench right now calling for another uh, shot at the line, but yeah. it won't get it right there. But great, great shot by Dalton McIntyre, just weaving through the defense right there. Unofficially, he's got 13. Nice defense. Xander is playing on the bad wheel and still is playing very good defense. Now we got to rotate and help. There's not much here. Raleigh Seals was anchored in the lane then. Good positioning by him for his first two points. 20 seconds left, 69-34, Sacred Heart leading. We're in the third quarter of play. Worthy Road Studios bringing you Sacred Heart basketball. Paul Schultz and company. There you go. Greer's ready to go to work. About eight seconds. And here comes Beard off the screens. He drives. Goes to McIntyre. And there's going to be a foul under the bucket. If McIntyre had caught it clean, it would have been shot on the other side or either you would have had a clean reverse layup. But ball may have been tipped. McIntyre should go to the line and shoot two. He's one for two from the free throw line, Blake. Yeah, he's already got a free throw today, but he's got a, a full right scholarship for baseball, uh, baseball in college. <laughs> he's going to be a great baseball player. Eyes it, tries it, and it rolls off. That's the great thing about this uh, about this school. You can play more than one sport and uh, excel at it. I, like I said, Jake Hill is uh, one of the quarterbacks for our team. Uh, Dalton McIntyre obviously ba plays baseball in his free time. Austin ba Austin Bow he he plays some football too. And yeah, a lot of a lot of versatile players on the. There's stage. the long shot off the back, and if this quarter ends with Sacred Heart holding a 70 to 34 lead at the end of three quarters of play. Let's take a timeout on Worthy Road Studios. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. Back for fourth quarter action with Sacred Heart leading 70 to 34. Quick thought before we inbound the basketball. Um, right now, if I'm Sacred Heart, I would uh, start to ease off a little bit. Uh, this game's starting to pull away. Uh, be still be physical. Send the message uh, to USJ, who is a district opponent. We'll play them next time at their place. Um, you don't want any injuries to happen. Don't want any injuries to happen. And for USJ, why not give Sacred Heart a little fight? Okay, Raleigh Seals with the rebound as Taylor Side tries the long pass into the forecourt. It goes awry. And here comes a young man. He may be small, but he is wiry, and Andre Bell plays hard. We, we saw that over at TCA that night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Andre Bell can really uh, strike from deep. 70 to 34. We have a running clock right now. We're in the fourth quarter. Kendrick Beard to inbound. There's the pass. It'll be an and one. Drew Morris will pick up the foul. Xander Taylor, but you also have to give the passer some credit, too, on that one, Blake. Mm -hmm. Kendrick Beard just uh, looked through his progressions, looked through his progressions, looked through his progressions, and pow, 
Xander Taylor was open in the paint. Looked like Mac Jones in that football game last night. There's a <laughs> missed free throw. Xander Taylor goes after it, but I think it's going to come off. The nimble referee, got to give that young man credit. He That way he didn't hurt Xander Taylor. Xander was allowed to slide under him. And now the referee, uh, he, he, he may never rebounded that high when he was playing basketball. <laughs> yeah. 72-34 with the running clock. Ball inbounded to Brady Smith. Smith has it going one-on-one -on -one with Xander Taylor. Now Andre Beard and Horton. There's the back door play. We got beat on the back door play. Drew Morris scoring his fourth point of the night. 72-36, 6.25 and running. Here's Xander Taylor coming off of a screen. Feeds inside to Austin Valks. Austin, that young man's strong. He may have missed it, but he is strong. Oh, yeah. Austin's strong as an ox. Um, very, very big paint presence. Uh, he's he's ha He has a bright future with this team. He really does. And I'm going to tell you what I had the pleasure of coaching his dad, working with his grandfather, was assistant superintendent for the school system. First one off, but don't worry about that, folks. Later in his career, this young man will turn into a great free throw shooter again. Got to follow through all the way and leave that hand right over the rim. That looks much better, but it hit and bounced out. But that looked better than the first one. He's going to be a great one for it. So we look at the focus on Xander Taylor out there playing mm -hmm. defense. Here comes Beard to play defense. We're playing some pretty good jumping to the ball. We're going to get to steal. Here comes Malachi Chavis watching for somebody sneaking up. A little bit of a hot foot in the lane there. Good officiating tonight. I'll give them credit. They have caught most of those things like that. Did they call that on uh, Bell right there? They call that as a, a travel, yeah. You got the hot foot. No, Chavis had the football, had the hot foot, had the basketball. Man, I'm, I'm back on football. 72-36. <laughs> you still think about that game last night, Coach? Oh, yeah, yeah. I was proud of Alabama. A good defense we surrounded, but then we reached in and fouled, and he's probably going to get the bucket. And that is Owen Stone Cipher. Basket is good. The foul is on 12. That is on Andre Bell, his first, team seventh. And let's see, Stone Cipher will try for an old-fashioned three-point play. And it rolls in. 72-39 with 428. Here's Taylor's three. It was straight enough. It was just didn't have enough to get over the rim. They throw into Vox. Vox wants to go to the hole. Spin goes up. His shot rolls off the rim. They'll get Malachi Chavis over the back. Yeah, but great, great effort right there by Chavis. Obviously wanting to rebound the most, but got a little chippy right there. Got a little chippy. And what are so they calling here? It's a foul. Uh, we'll shoot the bonus here. If he hits the first one, oh, he'll get bonus. the bonus. Yeah. My fault. That's okay. We all make plenty of mistakes. Trust me, the kids on the floor tell you, we make mistakes sometimes too. At the line will be Brady Smith wearing number three. Now we get a substitution, and I believe that is Trey Williams coming into the ball game for the Knights at the 3.30 and counting mark. First shot up, nothing but string music for Brady Smith. He'll get a second one. And now getting into the ball game is Bren McKinney for Sacred Heart. Shot it, and it rolls in. So Brady Smith on the board with two points, 72-41. Going to the hole, it just come, came off. There is Vox. And I'm going to tell you what, mm -hmm. Austin is working hard. And Austin, my apologies if I get excited and call you Justin because uh, he looks so much like his dad at that same age. And like I said, I'm kind of kind of proud his dad played for me in middle school and then played over at Northside. Shot it, got it. Austin Vaux now in the scorebook. Hit his first free throw. He'll try for the second one. Second one up, and that was smooth there. I'll tell you, Austin's going to be something by the time he's finished uh, here at Sacred Heart. He's going to be a really good basketball player. I can already tell. 
Got to ask, what does he play in football? Uh, he's one of our offensive linemen, and believe it or not, he's a kick returner. He's actually returned a few to the house, so he's pretty quick. As we Balls. see right there on the block. With the block. Here's the steal. That is my man, brother Andre Bell. He wants to go to the hole, and he does. And two for Andre Bell. How about Andre Bell right there? He's got big shoes to fill uh, in place of these seniors, uh, just controlling his body right there. He's going to be a fun player to watch. He is going to be. Now, they get a good job, and Vox will pick up his foul. It'll be his second foul. And uh, that time we played the initial, but we didn't help the helper like Coach Borgard, I guarantee you, will be talking about that even with a big win. You still have to correct mistakes mm -hmm. in a big win. Right. At the line for two is Owen Stone Cipher. Excited, and the spin took it over. That was good. So he is two for two so far for free throws. He'll shoot the second of this two shot foul. He had a three point play the old fashioned way. This one's going to be short. Come off the iron. USJ gets the rebound. Smith's shot comes off. He gets his own rebound, goes up, and scores. Brady Smith now has four in the contest. 55 seconds, 76 44. That was a great effort by Brady Smith right there, just getting the second chance point on that. A couple rebounds on that possession, too, from him. Shot up, shot good. Count it. AJ Mormon with his second three. Quick pass to Stone Cipher. He goes up and gets two more. Owen Stone Cipher has five on the night. 32 seconds. This contest all over but the shouting. Going to the hole is Mormon. He gets his shot blocked. He won't let that phase him. He'll be ready to play. Looking, looking. Around the horn, almost a tie ball. Mormon's got it. A.J. Mormon at 10 seconds. Tries to scoop pass, gets it, take it away. Smith has it at the five-second mark for USJ. He's going to go to the hole. They'll let him lay it up and in. Brady Smith has six. Your final score. Sacred Heart, 79 to 48 over USJ. A big region win for the men tonight, Blake. Mm -hmm. Sacred Heart, I believe they advanced to 6-4, six 6-4 four, six four on the season. Um, USJ, I, I think their record is, if I believe, 3-6 and six now. Um, both teams uh, play in the same region. This is a region game, like Coach Holloway said. Um, big win by Sacred Heart. This is a big statement uh, by them. Uh, they obviously showed off the talent uh, that these freshmen have. Uh, A.J. Mormon, Andre Bell, Austin Val, uh, they showed their potential tonight. Uh, who else did? Trey Trull, uh, Malachi Chavis. I forgot about him for yeah, a don't, second. Don't, don't leave Malachi my man Chavis. Malachi out, man. Ooh, he, he is he's special for this team. He, he's a real special guy. Um, uh, USJ, if I'm them, I would keep playing for – need this? That's USJ's. You can have that. I just want, I just want. But back to what I was saying, uh, USJ played a great ball game tonight. Um, they got a lot to improve. They got a lot to improve. Have a, They have a very young team. Uh, have a couple of juniors and sophomores out there. Raleigh Seals looks real solid. Um, he, he'll be a solid center uh, for this team in the coming years. Uh, Drew Morse is a solid point guard. Brock Yates is a very good scorer. He can, he can really shoot the ball. Um, but for you, USJ, I would focus on attacking the paint, uh, and and they got they got a nice coach. They got a they got a really good coach. Um, but you face one of the uh, best teams in the district in Sacred Heart, and uh, obviously ran into a wall. Uh, Sacred Heart Sacred Heart's got a lot of good players. Trey Trull played uh, great tonight, and uh, and so did Kendrick Beard and J and uh, Javion Greer. So. Great, great outing by Sacred Heart, wouldn't you say, Coach? Yes, and if you wonder why I'm laughing a little bit, uh, that's one of the, you just learned about one of the unusual things of broadcasting. There, sometimes the fans will come mm -hmm. up and ask you a question right while yeah. you're talking, and that's that's okay. We appreciate our fans and love all of them, and uh, uh, appreciate the job Blake did. Blake and I worked through. Uh, a mm -hmm. situation with the rosters and unusual situation. Uh, very un usually we get good ones, but we had players left off. There was a young man who was supposed to be wearing the number one jersey. The roster I was sent that not even on the team anymore, and uh, so uh, or at least he's not playing tonight and wasn't here. But anyway, uh, let's go over USJ scoring. Morris had two. Smith six. Ten. Let's see. Yes, ten for Brock Yates. 
three for Pledger, and uh, six for Stone Cipher. That's Owen Stone Stone Cipher. Um, four for James Mitchell. Two for Raleigh Seals. Hunter had six, and Ron Brisbane had five unofficially for a total of 48 points. For the winning Sacred Heart Knights, who improved their record, they had 79 total points. Xander Taylor with 10, 18 for Kendrick Beard, six for Trey Truel, 14 for Javion Greer, one for Jake Kale, 14 for Dalton McIntyre, six for Malachi Chavis, A.J. Mormon with six, Andre Bell with two, Austin Vox with two, and we know we had eight threes in the first half, uh, nine, ten. I believe we had ten threes for the game. Yeah, very, very, very good shooting performance by not only Xander Taylor but uh, Malachi Chavis, Kendrick Beard, and Javion Gur. They, they really, they really showed they can shoot it tonight, and they're a force to be reckoned with in the district when it comes to three ball. And we need to give credit, and I've, I've got it here, so I'll make sure I don't leave anybody out. Uh, I feel like I, I played and I didn't play. We worked, <laughs> yeah. we worked hard tonight. Our cameramen worked hard. Paul Schultz even worked hard. But uh, Jacob Hancock on the floor, Zach Henson on the floor with a camera, Will Mingledorf, main camera, Blake Biggs did color, and, of course, the man that pulls the strings, punches the buttons, he does everything except for fill up the water bottles around here. And that's Paul Schultz of Worthy Road Studios. And, of course, we want to thank Victory Honda for their help in bringing you this broadcast, the administration of both schools, the coaches. And, Blake, final comment before we sign it off. Uh, this is a very – very well coached game by uh, both. USJ started to make adjustments in the second half, but they just got overpowered by the Sacred Heart team who just has so much talent. And USJ is a very young team. Uh, obviously scoring 48 on Sacred Heart is it's a pretty it's a pretty tall task. Um, and uh, defending Trey Trull and all obviously the superstar seniors and Malachi Chavis and Xander, that's a that's a tough task. That that's a real tough task. But kudos to USJ. We thank them for coming out here. Uh, playing in our gym and uh, great job by Beauregard and Company. They they played a they played a complete game. They played a complete game. Absolutely, a great effort by the young men. The ladies lose unfortunately tonight, but the Fab Five, as I call them, because they have to play 32 minutes of basketball. They didn't give up. They didn't quit. They played hard, acquitted themselves well. Now we need to remind you: not only can you see most games live streamed on. Facebook Live of Sacred Heart. you got to go to Sacred Heart's Facebook. You can see those games live. But tonight, Paul Schultz will, I call it archiving, he'll put it up on YouTube, and you'll be able to see this game and Sacred Heart games, except for when we are away, are always in high definition. Great to watch it. The camera work is good. The graphics are good. You've got the running clock. Worthy Road Studios, they do funerals. They do Weddings, they can do anything. They do church service. I know of four that Paul's doing. He, he's a miracle man. Actually, I think Jake Kale shoots some sometimes. Will mm -hmm. may have shot some. Blake, have you done a game? I've done. I've done a few. I mean, a, 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 a so, service. Service, yeah, and that's that's great. You can tell I am still in this game. The old coach in <laughs> me's pumping right now, and uh, it's a great feeling in the Sacred Heart locker room. For the coaches and, like we said, the administration and, and everyone involved from both schools and for the, our fine camera staff. And I want to say this, the officials did a good job tonight. What a game, a happy ending in the boys' game. Stay tuned for more Sacred Heart basketball on the Sacred Heart Basketball Network on Ro Worthy Road Studios. And it's time to say thanks for your time this time. Till next time, good night all. <laughs>